Snapchat is a trendy photo messaging application developed in 2011, allowing users to take photos and videos and send them to friends. Those photos, according to Snapchat, will disappear as soon as they are viewed by the recipient. How do people look at Snapchat? It connects people um, with each other and it entertains a lot of people. Uh, sometimes uh, I get into a funny, okay, just, like something funny happens and I want to share it with my friends, so that's the fastest way to do it. I've used Snapchat a bit and I haven't felt comfortable with it. I don't see the point in it. I'd rather use other social media. Please say a lot of feature we are taking. Currently, Snapchat has 100 million active users, of which 50% are teenagers aged 13 to 17 years old. Those active users are sending 400 million snaps every day. The app, which was developed in 2011, was able in a matter of few years to compete with the leading social media platforms. In August 2014, it was ranked the third most popular app among 18 to 34-year-olds. So, let's find out what might be the reason for this rapid growth of users. I think people appreciate it because it's more private. I think it's more up-to-date in a way. How simple or how easy it might, might be for people to um, share. It's only there for a certain period of time or you can just view it one time or two times. If you compare Snapchat with other social media which has been dominating the social space for the last decade, Snapchat has a unique feature which has been used to market the app effectively. In terms of Snapchat and its similarities or difference to the other social media, it is obviously one whereby it's supposed to have more privacy. Also, there's more of a fun aspect because you can send images or videos and they delete in up to 10 seconds. The picture of Snapchat is not more than 10 seconds. هاي اللي تعطى شوي راحة للمستخدم إنه يعني صورتي بطرشة عشر ثواني وبتروح احنا كنا نتنبأ بيه رح يكون ترند توجه في 2014-2015 اللي هو ما يسمى بالديسبوزبل كونتنت المحتوى خنقول ال... يعني المؤقت So, there is disbelief among people that photos in Snapchat will vanish after being viewed which is simply not true Photos do not vanish They are first viewed and then deleted what is the difference between the two? Here is the difference. If a photo vanishes, it's gone forever and can never be restored. However, if a photo is deleted, it means it's saved in the recycle bin and of course can be retrieved. How important should this be for users? I feel whoever uses any, so, any kind of social media site or an app should be aware of where they're posting it and who is able to see it. Let's get a clear understanding on how Snapchat deals with photos. In terms of how the images are sent, um, it is iCloud. So basically your pictures are out there on servers, which again has a security issue. حسب ما Snapchat موضحين هذا الموضوع, أنا من أرسل فيديو صورة إلى آخره, رح يتم الاحتفاظ بها بشكل مؤقت. في السيرفر اللي يعود الى السناب شات الى ان يتم الاطلاع عليها من قبل من المستقبل طبعا المستقبل حتى يطلع عليها راح تجيب الانبوكس العائد له اذا هي صوره موجوده على تليفونه بعد ما يطلع راح يتم حفه من التليفون اللي عنده لانه اكو يعني في تكنيك معين لهذا الشيء ويتم حفه لاحقا من السيرفر اللي يخص سناب شات Online, there are the so-called privacy features allowing users to publish private content. But is this privacy true? Is there any privacy online? Because now with internet, anything can be somewhat leaked or could be copied. This is the big question about online. You've got stuff stored on servers that you have never seen. You have lots and lots of material on the cloud. You have a digital footprint. And the question is whether that digital footprint can ever be erased, because it seems as if it can't. There was a scandal a while back where all of the Hollywood movie stars were having their photos leaked. Um, and I know they were, there was a lot of anger because of it, but I was quite shocked that people who are obviously educated and intelligent and very much public figures were sharing personal photos of themselves. احنا كناس مختصين بتكنولوجيا المعلومات نؤمن بقاعدة بسيطة تنهي كل الجدل اللي احنا دا نتكلم بخصوصه اي شيء 
يتم نقله او تخزينه او حتى استخدامه في الانترنت فهو قابل للتسجيل وقابل للحفظ وقابل للاستنساخ وللاختراق. هذا قاعده في الاي تي. وهذا طبعا ينطبق على السنابس اللي تخص السناب شات. Since there is no true privacy online, what should users consider before sharing photos? Well, the user should take care of exactly what kind of photo it is because if it's you know it could if it's something personal it, you sh- they should take care not to just upload it online even if it's just to share it with close friends or family because you never know uh, who might you know a second or third person might interrupt like a hacker or someone can take the photo and use it against the user it mostly depends on who you're sending it to if you're sending it to a close friend then you can send whatever you want to send اي طبعا لازم الواحد يخاف ينتبه انه هو ما يطرش صوره غلط يعني حق شخص غلط What about third-party apps? كثير من الأبس الموجودة اللي هي بكل بساطة تسمح لنا بأن نسيف الصور أو ال الفيديوهات وأشهرهم يمكن أكل سناب سيف. I feel that it's an invasion of a person's privacy. For example, if you're sending a certain photo or video to a person. You don't want anybody other than that person to get what you're sending. And برامج صراحة يعني الناس ما المفروض تستخدمها ما حد المفروض يشجع إن تنزيلها يعني لأن الإنسان وقت اللي طرش الصورة يكون واثق في الشخص اللي طرش حقه. Those third-party applications have paved the way for hackers to create an even larger concern. This has been the controversy because over the last year or two, there's been repeated stories. of people hacking into phones, being able to access people's contact details, and even last year, 100,000 images, which were supposedly deleted, uh, ended up being re-released online. Yeah, definitely it should impact on the way people use Snapchat, because if I were to upload a photo, if I send a photo to my friends, and then later on I found out that it got hacked, and uh, now someone wants to You know, upload my personal information online. Then obviously, I would take some precautions next time on using Snapchat, or I would stop using Snapchat because this could happen again in the future. In a tweet, Snapchat stated that its servers were not the source of the leaks, and that its users were victimized by their use of third-party applications. But then, whose responsibility is it? Two parties: Snapchat, because they're not secure enough as they claim to be. and the people who shared these photos. If you don't want other people to, share, to see your photo, you shouldn't be sharing, th- sharing it in the first place. I, I don't think you can blame one person. It's multiple different factors. I don't think it's the user's fault because the users... Well, I said the users should be careful, yes, but uh, I'm sure the users don't expect that their photos will be hacked and uh, you know taken. But. It's websites that allow this to happen. I think they're to blame. The application is different. Users them are not the problem. The easy thing for them is the ones who make the application different. I actually blame the users in a lot of ways because I think something like that, whatever platform or tool it is, you've got to use it responsibly. And if you don't, then there is always the risk that something is going to happen that you don't want to happen. The Snapchat is required if he. يريد يحمي المستخدمين مالته المفروض ما يسمح له مثل هذه التطبيقات بان تعمل بعده طرق يمنعها طرق تقنيه قانونيه الى اخره Adults anyways are mature enough to take responsibility for their actions what about younger users It's mostly has to do with trust like if if the parent trusts what the teenager is doing then that's the reason he has a phone in the first place a smartphone for example uh, well i think There should be a limit as to the age, as to when they have a smartphone, when they're able to do this, because um, smartphone, of course, is portable, so it can be taken and used in private. Um, <clears throat> anything that's done online should be done, if possible, in front of the parent. Everything should be monitored. And I think, really, it's about limiting access to these platforms. Also, I think for the parents and the children to, to keep lines of communication open, the parent needs to ask the child, What are you doing? Who are you talking to? They need to know. It's really, really key. And what is a good advice for every Snapchat user? I think it's uh, more of being smart of what you're posting and also um, thinking twice before actually using the app. 
از هول نصيحتي لهم وهي نصيحه تتعلق في كل مستخدمي الانترنت وشبكات التواصل الاجتماعي اذا انا اريد اكون اكاونت باي شبكه تواصل اجتماعي اتعب نفسي شوي واقرا سياسه الخصوصيه لانه اريد اشوف التطبيق الاب الموقع الويب اللي دا استخدمه هل هو يوفر لي الحمايه الكافيه ام لا only share what you're prepared to share with everybody nothing that you sh- nothing that is put out there can ever be assumed to be 100% safe finally although some people believe their photos are safe online it seems like experts have another opinion photos are never safe from hacking they can always be restored after deletion and the so-called privacy feature does not exist in snapchat or any other social media platform because everything can be saved screen captured or photographed rather than leaked so be careful and share responsibly